Hi Sierra, my name's John. I'm going to just be going over some uh, basics of website design and, and, uh, and traffic building uh, so you can understand it a little bit better. And if you'd like to look at our services later on, uh, I'd be more than happy to go over that with you as well. Uh, so basically there's a f three components or so, um, give or take, uh, to 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 websites and what they do traffic wise um, when we when we type in a keyword like Cincinnati drywall or um, you know, general contractors Dayton something like that um, that's called a keyword and that you put that into Google and the first thing that pops up is usually usually there's an ad up top here and then there's uh, this map pack right here and then your your top organic searches so essentially you want to have uh, a google profile here and have a strong website that has good content and good uh, backlinking and i'll go into that in more detail here in a minute uh, but first we'll go over that since this is right here um, essentially this is the first thing that anyone sees on their their mobile um, and will usually click on these you know seven times out of ten because they're easily clickable and readily available at the top when people search. Uh, so what what makes this rank well is a number of factors. Uh, one, the amount of information that they have in their profile. And so here we go. We got a couple ads that showed up here. <clears throat> um, uh, a good uh, review on their profile. So more five star reviews than than anything. Um, and good reviews down here, well-written stuff that shows that uh, people are responsive to it. Um, plenty of pictures in their profile are another factor, but more importantly, and the most, uh, the, the highest determining factor is the, uh, uh, these things called citations. Citations essentially are the information that you put into a directory uh, say, you know, something like yellowpages.com or uh, even a, a, a listing in Google or, you know, any other directory site, um, any business directory. The amount of times that your info, uh, you know, uh, address, phone number, all that stuff is listed, the more clout you will have when it, when it comes to Google and you'll end up seeing yourself at the top here. Uh, it can take, if you have time to do it, it's great, and it can you can build it up, and it might take a while, but uh, some people don't have that time, and that's kind of what we do um, from my business. But again, this is just free information, um, so if it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't, and that's fine. So let's go back here to the organic searches. <clears throat> now, organic searches are a different factor entirely when we go into say and we're going to skip this facebook profile because it shows you how little um, people are ranking their websites for this so that that's actually a really positive uh, thing um, a facebook site is rarely the top uh, website that's going to be on when you search for something um, they actually show up twice i believe yes yeah, here's cincinnati drywalls uh, Facebook page, and then here's their actual page. So their Facebook page is actually ranking higher than their page, and that that's that, that shows you it's, it's they're doing poorly. So there's there's room to edge people out, at least in this um, uh, at least in this regard. So when we look at uh, their actual website, which I pulled up earlier, do this, and here's their website. It's not bad, but it's not good, um, and I can tell you that because we have a tool here that breaks down uh, websites and will show you what they're doing. So they only have two backlinks and seven organic keywords. We'll show you what they're ranking for: Cincinnati Drywall, Drywall Contractors, uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati Drywall Contractors, you know, uh, Drywall Repair Cincinnati. You'll see they're is no competition here this is keyword difficulty this is zero out of a hundred so there's plenty of um business to be made off of this and there's a hundred people searched for it this is the volume uh 30 p 
people search for drywall contractors, uh, contractors, Cincinnati. I don't know why I'm saying that weird. Sorry. Um, you know, Cincinnati drywall, uh, and then drywall repair Cincinnati going down again. There's plenty of people searching for this. Now we could go over each individual keyword, and if you're interested later, we can do that. Uh, but I'm just showing you basically these are the the words that that people are are when they search for they find Cincinnati drywall so they're associated with those words on Google um, and it's bringing them 14 people clicked on their website in the past hour I'm sorry in the past hour in the past month and it, they improved that by five people uh, to the previous month so it's important to know how to now that we've seen what keywords and how they are and what they are, we go to backlinks. Backlinks essentially are your website attached to other websites. So <clears throat> they've done nothing here. These are they, they've got one link that's actually doing them something and giving them some power, and that's it. So important to note. When you attach your website to another person's website, it has to be relative to what you do. You can't just attach your um, your website to, like, say, a museum. You're not going to get any credit in Google's eyes for that because it has nothing to do with it, um, unless you actually did some drywall for them, in which case you might get something out of it. But the websites that you post on with your link, uh, you know, say uh, you have CC's painting and drywall or uh, what have you, and you put that on, um, you know, Home Depot's website or, you know, something like that, you'll get a lot of clout from that because it's related to it. In fact, highly related to it. And it's a quality website. So a lot of times what you'll see from people who buy services uh, to do this for their websites They'll take, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll just attach your website to thousands and thousands of, of crappy websites that have nothing to do with what you do. And it ends up uh, raising you up in the rankings for just a slight uh, amount of time, and then it bottoms you out. So it's important to have quality links. And uh, we can see, let's see, I think I have some um, examples of that here. Give me a second. So it took me a minute. I had to find a, one of the competitors that does really well here. The Patch Boys, uh, they cover a huge um, radius. So this isn't entirely just for the Cincinnati and Dayton area. Um, but I wanted you to see what a number of uh, decent quality links and uh, keywords can do for your business. We can see here they are bringing in two point you know, 2,300 people a month to their website, and they're down by almost 700 uh, of the last month. But what we like to estimate typically is 10 to 15% of those will actually turn out to be quality uh, jobs that you'll get. <clears throat> now, it could vary from, uh, you know, uh, category to category, but that it just depends. Uh, but 10 to 15% is a good, safe bet uh, every time with these websites. So they're going to get a lot of money out of this, and obviously they are because they're one of the bigger uh, companies in the area. But it's important to see this and, and see the numbers to show what quality links will do for you uh, in regards to your business. Um, and again, tons and tons of keywords, um, just raking in the cash. Um, Another aspect, <clears throat> excuse me, that we, we spoke about earlier were, were ads. Um, I know a lot of people think that they don't do well, and uh, it's it's not worth your time or, or money or investment. Um, as someone who does this professionally, uh, it, it, it can be a, a money trap. It can be a, a money pit. But if you know what you're doing, um, like we do, it can work out very well for you and you can bring in money while we're, we're ranking you up here on the, on the pages. So um, it's a good tool for, you know, uh, using while you're building up your, your clientele through just organic searches on here, like we spoke about. Um, and 
if you don't know what you're doing, Google and Facebook like to definitely take advantage of people who don't know what they're doing on their marketing stuff. They'll, they'll do everything they can to try and drain you more and more, which is unfortunate. But it is a very, very useful tool. Um, I hope this clears some things up, and I hope it helps. Uh, we can go over things in more detail if you're interested in it, and I'm happy to do that. Um, we can set up a, a Zoom meeting or something like that and go over things in a little bit more uh, detail if you're available. If not, I, I hope this free information worked out well for you, and I hope it does something for you. Uh, Sarah, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I hope this helps. Have a good day.